subjects that I'm doing. Mm. The 90s is the decade when unlimited opportunities will be available to girls and women of all ages. Women can now choose to be doctors, lawyers, engineers, plumbers, gardeners, accountants and the job we look at in this video, technical studies teachers. The list is truly endless. Instead of taking the obvious work path, make your own decision and look around at all the options. Women today are spending more time in the workforce. It is important that choices about future jobs take account of what will be financially and personally rewarding in the long as well as in the... I don't see myself working in an office, but you see most females. I reckon girls should start doing things guys do. It's not really fair. Well, because you always see male motor mechanics, you don't ever see female motor mechanics. So do you think um, that women have the same chances in terms of careers as men? Not really, not, not in that field anyway, because they have to sort of like prove that they have to be better than males. Elizabeth, if you could be anything that you wanted, what would it be? Probably a hairdresser, because I thought it would be interesting and an opportunity to do something. What do you think influenced you the most? My brother, because he used to be one, but he stopped doing it now, because yeah. he got sick of it. I want to be a PE teacher, but it's going to be a lot of work. Fiona, if you could be anything that you wanted, what would it be? Join the RAAF. And why have you decided to do that? Fun, enjoyment, good job, yeah. good payment, <laughs> good money. And why have you decided to be a cabinet maker? Because I enjoy tech studies and I've, I like working with my hands. What do your parents think about you wanting to be a cabinet maker? They think it's great and they encourage me and everything like that. Well, I used to want to be a hairdresser, but um, my views have changed now, so I don't really have anything. Well, it's planned out, I suppose you could call it. What are your favourite subjects at school? Um, probably PE and tech studies. The South Australian College of Advanced Education has a strong commitment to access and equity and continues to develop specific programs to encourage women to think about a broad range of careers. Technology and Industrial Arts is a course offered at the Underdale campus of the South Australian College which will give you the skills, knowledge and attitudes to effectively teach technology studies in secondary schools. It will also enable the development of teaching techniques which will promote effective learning situations appropriate to technology studies. Come and have a look around for yourself. We'll answer all your questions and help you enrol for a course that will qualify you for the job you want. Yes, this is a TIA. Yeah. So I understand you're here to have a look around the building. So look, yeah. um, but feel free to wander around, and you'll find there are staff and students in the workshops. Have a chat with them and uh, see what you can find out. Okay, thank you very much. Good. Bye. The course itself is, is four years in length. Uh, this consists of uh, 144 points for the total beard award. Within that frame line you have um, three major areas if you like. We have the uh, main study area which is the 72 points out of 144 which is attributed to the main study area which is uh, technology area. Then you have a, another major area, uh, the uh, professional studies area which consists of basically two areas again. One is education component and one is the practice teaching component. And the last area is the uh, electives component so that makes up the three areas within the actual award itself. In graphics, for example, you would cover, although it's attributed to 12 points, graphics encompasses things like uh, mechanical drawings, uh, technical drawings, rendering, sketching. Uh, it also includes the photography in that particular area because, it's, again, it's linked to, in the creative component, so it's linked in there as well. And now, of course, we've extended into the um, graphics uh, via the computer. So there's a very broad range in the graphics being covered again. It's our main channel uh, of communication. Have a go at that? Yes. Yes. This is life. 
slightly. Push a little bit harder, that's it. Keep going like that. Hi. 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 <laughs> What's the course like? It's very interesting. I've always enjoyed tech studies, you know, from school and everything like that. And I've got a wider view of what tech studies is all about, doing welding, uh, plastics, you know, metalwork, electronics and things like that. I think it was when I was in Year 9 that I decided, OK, I really want to be a tech studies teacher because I love working, you know, with all these type of things, you know, nitty gritty type, getting dirty, all of that type of stuff. So I had a lot of encouragement, not only from my family, but also friends and other people that I may have met, you know, in places are really interested in what you're doing, they say go for it. So. So what did you actually do before you enrolled in this course? Um, before I enrolled in the course I was a gardener at a council and I did um, cabinet making at TAFE at night and that's what interested me in getting into this sort of work. What sort of projects do you make? Well in wood, um, after I've made this, which is a teaching aid, I'll be making a bookcase and um, last semester I made a wine table and salt and pepper grinders. So at the moment I'm sanding the inside of this ready to glue it up so I've got to clean it all up so that it's nice and smooth. It's going to have an adjustable shelf in it, so I've put in these brass bushes. And because this is a teaching aid, the corners are going to be exposed so that people can see how it was put together. Does anyone know the sort of timber that is? Particle wood. Yeah, it's particle wood. It's got Aussie oak veneer. In. Uh, there are three basic ways that you can gain entry into the course. The first instance is obviously to come through the Year 12 program where you simply attain a point score. The second one is to uh, do the Mature Age Entrance Examination where again you obtain a point score. And the third one now, which the college has just uh, introduced, is the interface which is between the TAFE College and the college itself. Well, for two reasons, I think. The first is that teachers offer very important models to students of what it's possible for men and women to do. And the second relates to Australia's broader technological and social agenda. It's a very important, I believe, for, it, for us to extend the group of people who are working in technological areas, and that now means getting more women working in those areas. I think one of the major reasons has to do with the sex segregation of the Australian workforce. At the present moment women earn less and have poorer career prospects than men because they're actually held in a smaller range of occupations, most of them outside the technological areas. For women to move into those areas it allows them as a group to have better career prospects. I think I decided that teaching was the career I wanted first uh, before I decided on technology and industrial art. And after thinking about maybe doing English and history and those sorts of subjects, I decided that really talking to kids behind a desk didn't appeal to me. And so I decided that technology and industrial arts gave me the opportunity to talk to kids while they were making things and, and really gives them the skills that uh, I enjoyed getting myself. I guess as well as skills, I also gained self-confidence. I mean, coming from the country, I was a very shy person who found it difficult to speak on a one-to-one -one basis, let alone in front of a, a group of school children. So as well as skills, I guess I learnt a lot of self-confidence and made a lot of friends, but certainly skills above all. What's it like teaching other people? It's different every day. But I guess seeing mostly 
people who have made something experience the joy of actually doing that is something that yeah, means a great deal too. Just that joy of actually achieving something is, uh, yeah, it's something that I don't know where else you could, you could get, really. Mm.